my end is really cool, you know. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, but who gave you my address? God, Snake. Snake gave it to me. You know I've been hanging around in this place for some time now. So, shouldn't they still be that name Snake? Of course. Do you have another name for him? <laughs> you want Cobra? That's even worse. Do you know what? Do you know that all those negative names we used to be while we were on campus, they actually had negative effects in our lives? Names like Snake, Cancer, Chameleon. No, no wonder any of us behave like those animals. Dosin, spare me those rubbish. Hmm? Anyway, how are your parents? Oh, don't, don't, don't mind those whole crazy folks. Do you know they actually wanted me to settle down in that hell of a village? Hmm? Dayo, Dayo, I don't like the way you address your parents. I mean, it's not proper. Such talk can attract causes on your life, you know. <laughs> See, we stop it, Tosin. You know, you used to say worse things than these to your own parents, you know. Yes, I did. But I've discovered it's bad and I've stopped it. I want you to stop such. Well, that's your own headache. Well, Tosin. Yeah. How about the babes in this city? I know you, Tosin. By now, you should have like 50 on your row. Ah, uh, I mean, <laughs> link your guy up now. Hmm? Hmm. I'm no longer into that kind of life. I'm changed. I'm a new person. Those. You. New life. <laughs> After all the years of partying on campus. Come on, Tosin. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy those delicious things. Oh, sure. Sure. Sin is enjoyable, it's pleasurable. But its pleasures are only for a season. The end is as bitter as bad, and it is death. Ah, nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Ah, Tosin. So, what about the blood oath? Hmm? What about the dagger society? Tosin, you used to love shedding blood like the rest of us. Hey, what's up, man? What's come over you? All that is in my past. Oh, in the past? Yeah. <laughs> Tosin, no. It will always remain with you as long as you live. Listen. Can the scream of those innocent lives that you killed ever leave your ears? Can you look on their faces before you kill them? Ever leave your dreams? Or can the taste of their blood ever leave your tongue to Dion, if a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become. Dio! Dio! Tosi! What sort of jargon is this? Hmm? You and I both know that we can never become new creatures, but worse than ever. Dio! Dio! Dario! Dario! Easy! Dario! Alright, 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 alright! Dario! You, you know my story! You were part of it for God's sake! You know that since I year one, I lived a reckless life on campus! In fact, it cost me four extra sessions, you know. It was due to God's mercy that I graduated at all. I left you on campus, came to the city with every intention to continue my reckless life. I never dreamt or knew 
that I could live the kind of life I now live. But Jesus interrupted my plans and ambitions for myself. He gave me a new life and a new vision. About a month after graduation, I was in my room with a girlfriend. Suddenly, Jesus walked into my room. He appeared to me. I, I, I saw the blood shed for me fresh on the palm of his hands. I was scared. I screamed and I ran out of the room. Those, do you expect me to believe such trash? Hmm? The second time, I was in a restaurant eating and it just walked in. Once again, I ran. But the third time, I tell you, the third time, there was no more running for me. I was on the bus going to the village and the driver was at top speed. Suddenly, the front tire burst and it slammed on the brake and the car lost control. As it turned over and over, I screamed, Jesus! That was the last thing I remembered. I woke up in the hospital two weeks later. Dayo, I had been in a coma for two weeks. I was told that everyone in the bus died. But I lived. Jesus saved my life. He loves me. I cannot say. Stop. Just stop. That was just coincidental, huh? Dayo, do you really think that my being the only survivor in a ghastly motor accident was a mere coincidence? No. Jesus saved me, and I know it. Since then, I surrendered my life to him. And he has been good to me. Now, tell me, Tosi, what is so spectacular about you that Jesus will be pursuing you all around? Huh? It's not just me dying. It's not just me. Everyone he created is special to him. And he's pursuing every one of them that is lost. It's only that. His matters of reaching out to each person differs. For instance, he's using me to pursue you now. Dayo. Dayo! 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 Jesus loves you. Why not give your life to him? He can give you anything. earlier discourse on the phone. Daya, you are a fool. Why did it take you so long to come? You ought to have come to me earlier. You know the society takes good care of its own and you are part of us. Chief, are you saying I have a job now? You were one of the brightest young cultists we had on campus at that time. And you know, we have great plans for people like you. Is it the job you want? You want to be a don? You want to be part of the masses? 
or you want to be a mover and shaker in the society, I can offer you opportunity to wine and dine with the high and mighty. Chief, do you really mean it? Hmm. I want to offer you a ticket. I want to offer you a ticket to affluence, ticket to prominence, ticket to get to the high places. Chief, I will do anything, anything you want, Chief. But I am not sure you are mature for it. Ah, Chief, I am, Chief. 